The 80 to 20 rule, Pareto principle what it is, how it works. The 80 to 20 rule, what is it? The Pareto principle, commonly known as the 80 to 20 rule, is a well-known adage that states that 20% of all causes or inputs are responsible for 80% of all outcomes or outputs for any given occurrence. The 80 to 20 rule in business aims to prioritize the inputs that have the greatest potential for productivity. For instance, managers should focus the most on the aspects they have determined to be essential to the success of their business. The 80 to 20 rule can be employed in any sector, even though it is widely used in business and economics. The 80 to 20 rule may be applied to a variety of situations, including wealth distribution, personal finances, spending patterns, and even adultery in intimate relationships. Key Lessons According to the 80 to 20 rule, 20% 20 of causes result in 80% of outcomes. By giving priority to the 20% of elements that will result in the best outcomes, the 80 to 20 rule. The finest assets of an organization should be identified, and they should be utilized effectively to generate the most value possible. This rule is a principle, not an unbreakable rule of mathematics. Sometimes people make the error of assuming that if 20% of criteria should be given precedence, then the remaining 80% may be disregarded. The 80-20 rule, how does it work? The 80-20 rule may be perceived as straightforward cause and effect. 20% of causes result in 80% of outcomes, outputs, inputs. The 80-20 rule is frequently cited to illustrate how 20% of a company's customers are responsible for 80% of its revenue. When seen in this light, it could be profitable for a business to concentrate on and promote to the 20% of customers who account for 80% of revenues. By doing this, the business may keep those consumers and attract new customers who share their traits. The 80-20 rule, however, has a deeper, more basic significance. Principle Base The 80-20 rule is fundamentally about recognizing an entity's finest assets and making optimal use of them to generate the most profit. A student should, for instance, strive to determine which sections of a textbook would be most helpful for an upcoming exam and concentrate on those first. The learner should not, however, disregard the other sections of the textbook in light of this. Misinterpretations It's possible that many are unaware that the 80-20 to 20 rule is a precept rather than a strict mathematical formula. Additionally, it's not required that the percentages add up to 100%. Simply simple, inputs and outputs stand for various units. These units' percentages do not have to total up to 100%. What counts is the idea underlying the rule. Background on the 80 to 20 rule. The Pareto principle, commonly referred to as the 80 to 20 rule, is used in Pareto analysis. In the early 20th century, it was initially used in macroeconomics to explain the wealth distribution in Italy. Vilfredo Pareto, an economist from Italy well known for his theories on Pareto efficiency, presented it in 1906. 1. Pareto discovered that in his garden, 20% of the pea pods produced 80% of the peas. By demonstrating that 20% of the people in Italy held 80% of the wealth, Pareto extended this idea to macroeconomics. Dr. Joseph Uron, a well-known expert in operations management in the 1940s, used the 80 to 20 rule to quality control for commercial manufacturing. He showed that 20% of the issues with manufacturing techniques were responsible for 80% of product faults. An organization might raise the overall quality of its goods by concentrating on and addressing the 20% of manufacturing issues. This phenomena was referred to by Euron as the crucial few and the inconsequential multitude. The 80 to 20 rules advantages. There is a lot of anecdotal evidence that supports the 80 to 20 rule as being fundamentally valid, if not mathematically correct, 
despite the fact that there is little scientific investigation that supports or refutes its validity. The 80 to 20 rule has been successfully implemented by salespeople in a variety of industries, as evidenced by their performance outcomes. Additionally, external consultants who employ Six Sigma and other management techniques have successfully incorporated the 80 to 20 rule into their procedures. The 80 20 rule, what is it? According to the 80 to 20 rule, just 20% of causes result in 80% of all outcomes. It is employed to identify the elements, usually in a business setting, that are most important to success and then concentrate on them to enhance outcomes. The principle is also applicable in situations outside of business. The 80-20 rule, what does it mean? The 80-20 rule essentially emphasizes the value of focusing your efforts on the areas of your business, life, sports, musical performance, blog, etc. that yield the best outcomes. It does not follow, however, that those less successful sectors should be disregarded. Setting priorities for your attention and responsibilities can help you address issues as they arise. How can I invest using the 80 to 20 rule? You can think about investing in the 20% of S&P 500 stocks that have generated 80% of the market's gains when constructing a portfolio. Or you might set up an 80 to 20 allocation where 80% of your assets are lower risk index funds and 20% are growth funds. Of fact, previous success may not always predict future outcomes. So, make sure to keep an eye on your portfolio's performance to determine how closely the outcomes correspond to your intentions and objectives.